Hi, I'm Jim Hackenberg, PGA golf professional and developer of the Orange Whip training products. I'm here with my friend Tom Patry, fellow PGA member, top 100 golf instructor, and founder of the TP Golf Schools in Naples, Florida. Jimmy, let's talk um, real life problems. You know, really common one. Average recreational player, the slice. Slice. I'll show you a couple of unique ways that I can affect your golf swing to improve your swing and hopefully take away that slice. Many golfers will take their club and they will just force it over the top trying to hit that golf ball, Ouch. Ouch. smash down on it and it's a weak slice to the right. What I want them to do is learn how to get their swing path to go down the line or even possibly inside to out which will promote a, a draw in the golf shot. I will be on my orange peel, I will move forward, you can see that my toes are now higher than my heels, that's going to get my center of gravity to lean back a little bit. I'm going to then take our longest orange whip and I'm going to swing it back and forth in repetition. And Jim, talk to me about that. Why the, why the longest one? The reason I choose the longest orange whip is because it's going to create a round motion. It's going to go around their body. Kind of shallow out the club a little bit. Exactly right. The, short, the longer the club, the more it's going to shallow it out and you're going to be able to find what we all call the slot. You can find that slot and drop it into the slot. Wonderful. That's awesome. Yeah, good. So I'm in this position. I'm in my address position. I'm going to then start very slowly swinging back and forth. And you'll notice that gravity is going to encourage me to get the club to go a little bit from inside to out. And I'm training a proper path. So two things are doing that. Let me understand this. The inclination of the peel and where you're standing on the peel and the length of the orange whip. Exactly And the right. combination of those two things encourage that tendency. Exactly. Because we're trying to take care of a, a swing path issue that is going over the top and to the left. Perfect. And I want it to drop inside, and Beautiful. I want them to feel it and develop that feeling. Beautiful. And, you know, it's funny, as, as, a, as a teacher in the trenches day to day, that's probably, for the recreational player, the number one thing I see going on. You know, I, I make a living off of over the top. Yeah. You know I mean, if, the, if, you took, if you took over the top out of the golf world, you're really hurting me here, Jim. You're going to take away a lot of my business. <laughs> that's exactly right. So for the person out there hitting slices, that's, that's, a, that's an absolute no-brainer. And you can do it at the comfort of your own home. And it's something you could do every day. And before you know it, your path will be right down the line. Slight little draw, you'll hit it 25 yards further and much straighter. Yeah, and let me say this to the slices out there too. So Jim talked about a little more inside out. Um, and, I, and I'm gonna go on record saying, I don't think there's anything in such, there's any such thing as inside out. So it's a feeling you're creating, mm -hmm. okay? But for the guy who's out there slicing or the gal who's out there slicing the golf ball, you can't feel too much inside out. Okay? It's not going to look like that on film. It's not going to actually happen that way because the golf swing is a circle. But you need to move your feel to that creation, which Jim has just described with these two devices. Perfect. Fantastic. Perfect. Simple, effective tools, easy to get your golf swing in order.